let's take a look at the Iritech TIF XL filter. Uh, this is a disc filter that we use in larger multi-acre uh, field applications. Here at Sustainable Village, we have a unique design for our TIF XL filters. Um, we can do this design with other brands of filters as well, but we find these to have the most surface area uh, and the longest uh, periods of time between cleanings. And they're also about the highest quality one on the market. Typically these are used in agricultural applications where we're pulling water out of a ditch or uh, a pond or something like that. So we're working with dirty water. So <clears throat> water will come in here, fill up this chamber on the outside, and then the pressure of the water will push its way through these discs. Open this up. You can see that these are just stacked on top of each other. And if you were to stick your finger there and feel, it's kind of a waffled um, imprint on the inside of the disc. So when that's compressed and under pressure, that's what serves as the filter. And whatever makes it through is clean water. This will filter it down to, I think, 155 mesh uh, filter rating. This is a, a, kind of a manifold design for our filter systems. Um, in this case, we have three of the filters mounted in line. Uh, we would use this in conjunction with some sort of pump system generally, uh, electric pump or gasoline powered pump. This would be at the input side of a filter system like this. Uh, this is, in this case, is two inch PVC line. Uh, these are two inch ball valves. These are two inch uh, unions. Two inch ball valves on the outflow as well. The way these uh, work is you have water coming in through this, uh, this side, runs through this manifold, and then through all three filters at once. They generally have this cap on them uh, and a air vent on the top. What's unique about this design is that we can isolate individual filters. So, for instance, if we wanted to clean one of these filters, it's just as quickly as uh, disconnecting this ring lock here, sliding the cap off, and then spraying down the outside of this disc filter with some sort of hose. If you don't have a clean water source next to your filter station, which is common, we build one in. And this is what's kind of cool about this design. We can actually isolate any individual filter by turning off the ball valves. So say we want to clean this filter, I can turn off the incoming pressure and the outflow as well. Now there's no water flow going in here. There's still clean water being made through the other two filters. And because we have this hose bib on the downstream side, we can attach a hose with a little sprayer on it and use that to spray off the outside of this disc filter. And then when we're done, we can put the cap back on, the, tighten the ring lock again, open it up, put it back into service, and then move down the line and clean each one in series like that. Another very unique thing about the Eurotech TIF filter is that it's uh, oriented with the cap facing upwards. Um, with a lot of other uh, similar disc filters, you'll see them mounted um, like this and it makes cleaning them that much more difficult. We build these with the two inch uh, union with the, the Buna O-ring in here so that I can disconnect these and then actually just unscrew individual filters in case I need to service one or replace one for some reason. These manifolds you can start small with you know, say two filters and then expand as many as you want. 